WUSA 9 Weather Watch is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. And I'm WSA 9 meteorologist Topper Shelby. He just got the 5 p.m. bulletin in for the hurricane. And right now it is weakened. It's no longer a Category 3. Winds are down to 110. Now it still has gusts to 130, but it's going to get in some colder water here in the next uh, 12 hours. That's going to weaken it farther. Uh, we're looking at about 640 miles uh, to the south, southeast of um, San Diego. And we still have hurricane warnings across much of the coast of Baja. And then yellow is tropical storm warnings, which does include our friends along the, the southwest coast of California, including uh, LA and, and San Diego. By uh, say by 6 a.m. on Sunday, still a hurricane, but notice down to a cat one now. So by tomorrow morning early, it weakens and then boom, it moves a little further to the east. This tracks a little further east, which is good news for places like San Diego and LA because you're not going to have the strong winds. You're going to have some rain, but not the strong winds. That's at 6 p.m. on Sunday. By 9 p.m., it's essentially parallel with uh, Los Angeles, but again, highest winds on the northeast quadrant, so it's away from L.A. We get into, you know, 6 a.m. on Tuesday, boom, it's gone. Winds are still 40 miles an hour, and it's to the west of Las Vegas. Okay, so here are the warnings. Yes, uh, L.A., San Diego under tropical storm uh, warnings, and I think for the most part, San Diego may see some tropical storm winds. I don't think L.A. will. I think the biggest problem really with this storm is going to be rainfall. Uh, there's just no doubt. We have flood watches everywhere, pretty much the entire state of Nevada and a good chunk of uh, California and eastern sections of Arizona. Oddly enough, Phoenix is not in there, but what can I say? All right, so rainfall we will take you through this now. Not much by tomorrow morning. Two hundreds in Oceanside, nothing in L.A. But look what happens by 6 p.m. Sunday. So during the day Sunday, L.A. is up to about seven tenths. Ridgecrest over an inch. Central Nevada over an inch and then boom Sunday night into very early Monday is going to be the heaviest rain in Southern California. Now we got 2.77 in LA, three inches in Ridgecrest and about two inches in uh, central sections of Nevada. These numbers are down a little bit and I think part of that is because of the, the eastward movement of the track just a little bit. Doesn't take much. It moves 50 miles. That changes a lot of things uh, when it uh, makes landfall and that's pretty much it. Maybe LA tops out at three inches. So we're going to see some massive uh, flash flooding in Southern California. There's no doubt about that because the water can't percolate into the ground. So that's going to be the biggest problem uh, with this storm. Not so much wind, especially it hits some colder uh, water. Here's a computer forecast of the winds. This is a uh, noon on Sunday. Tropical storm force winds just south of San Diego, maybe gusting to 25, only 11 mile per hour winds in LA. And look, it gusts to 36, maybe 40 miles an hour in San Diego, but under 30 in LA. So not a, a crazy windstorm for LA at all, especially when you, when you consider like they're used to Santa Ana winds that blow 50, 60, 70 miles an hour. So this is not going to be a wind problem. And then by nine o'clock on Sunday, pretty much parallel uh, with Los Angeles as, as a tropical storm and then moves into uh, Nevada by midnight Monday or late Sunday night, basically late Sunday night. OK, so back to us. We couldn't have a nicer weekend, could we? <laughs> now it's going to be a little hotter on Sunday, but it's still not going to be that humid. And it's going to be a nice uh, August day, it really is. Very hot Monday, 90s. It's going to be in the 80s at the Commanders game. Top, you know, it's 8 p.m. game. I do, <laughs> I do. It's going to be probably 84, 85 at 8 o'clock. It may hold in the 80s uh, through the game. Warm, but not that humid at all on Tuesday. Really nice day on Tuesday. Beach forecast continues to be uh, great. I mean, Sunday's great. Nice on Monday. A few clouds cooler on Tuesday. Could be a sprinkle or a shower on Tuesday at the uh, shore. OK, our temperatures the next five days. Well, we're going to go up. I mean, 91 tomorrow. OK, I lowered Monday to 94. Still hot. Only 86 on Tuesday. Look at this. Only 83 on Wednesday and 87 on Thursday. So that's pretty good. Now, will it warm back up again? Next 10 days, nothing crazy. Back to 92 on Friday, back to near 90 on Saturday. Look at this Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday, we may hold in the 70s. That would be a little too cool for my, my liking, but some folks would like it. That's more like late September than late August. All right, uh, high temperatures tomorrow. We'll talk about what it's going to feel like. So this is the factor in the temperature and the humidity. 88 degrees downtown, 87 in Frederick. So it tells me this is not going to be very humid tomorrow because the air temperature is going to be 90. It may even be cooler than the actual air temperature. That means you know it's not humid at all. And the reason we concentrate on humidity is because when we perspire, it's allowed to evaporate when the dew point is low and the humidity is low. And that's what cools us off. When humidity is high, it just kind of sits there and that the, makes us super hot. So by 3 p.m. on Monday, okay, a little hotter, 94. But remember, I'm going 94. 
not going to change the uh, temperature much. We're not looking at a heat index uh, that's going to require a heat advisory or anything like that. It's going to be hot for basically one, one day. All right. Futurecast, you know, 11 o'clock tonight, fantastic. Your plans are safe. Temperatures in the 60s, not quite as cool as Friday night, but still cool for August, you know, uh, numbers. I mean, we're looking at some 50s and 60s in the burbs. And then it warms up quickly. I mean, we're 80 by 10 o'clock on Sunday. And then by 1 o'clock, we're in the upper 80s to near 90. And by 6 p.m., we're still near 90 downtown, but it's not going to be that humid. That's a pretty good day, really. When we get into uh, Monday afternoon, there's your 93. Notice the winds turn northwest, so a front's going to go through us dry. Kind of unusual over the past few months, all the severe weather we've had. It looks like it's going to go through dry and lower humidity even farther on uh, Tuesday. All right, so let's talk about car wash. This is the time to get your car washed. I mean, we don't see any rain until maybe next Friday, so it will stay nice. And pickleball looks nice, and so does brunch. Look at this. I mean, you know, perfect at 10 o'clock, warm at noon, a bit toasty at 2 o'clock, but it's not going to be humid. Still a pretty good day. All right, so not that humid on Sunday, but hotter. Very hot Monday for the Commanders game. Less humid on Tuesday, 86. That's a heck of a heck of a day. Tuesday night will be in the 50s again in the burbs. Uh, Thursday, very nice. And then some showers and storms on Friday. And I put in maybe a morning shower on Saturday. We should clear out on Saturday. High temperatures holding in the upper 80s to near 90.